Kingdom Come drummer James Kodak has denied that alcohol played a role in the band's disastrous performance at the Swedish Rock Festival earlier in the month. Kingdom Come's June 10th appearance at Sweden Rock Festival was described by the popular Swedish site Rocknet as the event's biggest fuck-up. Writer Peter Johansson criticized the band for the inclusion of several lengthy, uninspired, uninteresting and completely meaningless solos on both guitar and bass, saying that the musicians completely massacred one of their most popular songs. Do you like it? He also singled out Kodak, writing that the drummer played really badly, sluggishly and at times failed to keep the tempo, worryingly throughout the concert. At the end of the show, Kodak stumbled to the edge of the stage to bow with his bandmates according to Rocknet. Also critical of Kingdom Come's performance was renowned Swedish music journalist and guitar player Jan Stark, who took to his Facebook page to share a photo of the gig, and he wrote in an accompanying caption, I've never seen a drummer fall asleep on stage before. But James Kodak is pretty damn close. Drunk. He slows down every song to half tempo. Kingdom Come. Sorry guys but this is shit. Veteran bassist and close friend Robbie Crane has also expressed his concern about the well-being of the Kingdom Come drummer. Writing on his social media. This is a sad situation. James is a good dude. He's a father, brother, son, husband and friend. But sadly you are correct. The only person that can save James is James, but he has to want it. But like so many before him, addiction fully has him. He is in the center of his own storm and sees nothing but peace around him. He doesn't realize the physical damage he has done to himself. Not yet anyway. If we tried to help would he hear us? I don't know. Hopefully this situation will serve as a wake-up call to him. All we can do is pray for him. Kodak publicly discussed Kingdom Come's performance at Sweden Rock for the first time in a new interview with This That and the Other, with Troy Patrick Farrell. Regarding what caused the show to fall short of expectations, James said. Dude, I, I, about, I want to say about eight or nine, nine days ago, maybe ten days ago, in the middle of the night, like four o'clock in the morning, in, in the, I, I was in a dead sleep. And I just rolled off the bed and I cracked like three ribs on my left side. And, uh, you know, I went to the my chiropractor guy and he says, oh, you have hairline pr fractures. And I'm like, going, oh, great. And, it, dude, it's just been nonstop pain. And uh, it's not just my ribs, it's head to toe. And uh, that's why, you know things were a little bit slower because dude i mean i took you know ibuprofen and the usual sure you know leave or whatever but man you know it, it was just it was an uphill battle from from the time <clears throat> excuse me from the time we started and it was just i mean not pain i'm talking pain pain big time stuff and uh you know that's no excuse because the show must go on but you know Oh, yeah, it was a little slower than usual, but also we had trouble, uh, you know, we, we have a click track, of course, because we might have a little bit of playback, and um, something was up with that, so, you know, we were flying solo, and, you know, you once, after so many years, like the whole time with Scorpions, click track, click track, click yeah, track, yeah. and Kingdom Come, same thing, and it just, you know, you 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 don't have it and you go uh oh okay well you know we'll do this but it was just you know it was just an off day you know and there's nothing you could do about it dude definitely no drinking and uh because you know that with the medication it it doesn't go to get good together and it was just uh, an off day man i mean i i did everything to get it up and uh I, you know tons of tea and you know this and that and and all the usual things that i do but man, I, it was just too soon after falling that uh, we went to play this gig, you know. And but it's Sweden Rock, and you don't want to bail out on that. Of yeah, course, cool. it's because you know I always sleep on the left side of the bed. Yeah, and and I just I just somehow in my sleep rolled off the bed and landed on my left side. I mean that's really it. I, I wasn't drinking nothing like that, you know. Yeah, I have a few w w white wines here and there, but. Nothing like that, and you know, I just rolled off the bed. It's, it's that's the first time in my life that's ever happened where, you know, uh, you know where I actually fell off and just I just landed right on my wrist. I mean, I woke up and saw stars. It took me like fifteen minutes to get off the floor, and uh, 
these things happen sometimes, you know, and there's nothing you could do. Dude, uh, you know, with, with the scorpions, you know, going up my riser to, to get to my drums, there were like 14 steps. And I fell down those stairs at least five times, yeah, <laughs> if right. not six times. Because, you know, I'd always, I was like a dummy. I was always spitting this water. And I'd get finish a song and I'd come down, you know, not thinking and just whoop. Oh, right yeah. on my ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the time we went to Sweden Rock, between the travel and just getting there and everything, man, dude, it was just head to toe, mega pain. I mean, I could barely get in and out, of, out, of, get it in and out of the van, much less get on the drum riser. Yeah, you yeah. know. I, and uh, I, because I, I, number one, I hate pills of any kind, but I'll take a leave and you know acetaminophen or whatever that stuff is. But, uh, you know, that doesn't always, for something like this, it doesn't really work. Yeah, for sure. Well, what's your reaction to, uh, you know, I mean, Robbie Crane made a comment within a Facebook thread, and it got picked up by Blabbermouth. And, you know, there's a picture of him and a picture of you side by side. And, and he's discussing his concerns, thinking that this is what's going on. I, how do you respond to what Robbie says? Which I, yeah, I think they, he says the sentiment's great because he cares about you. But uh, what, what's your reply to Robbie when, with his concern? Well, I, I really appreciate. It. I consider him a, a very good friend, and um, you know what? Uh, it, I, we'll hang up, and um, I got to call my son back, and then I'll give Robbie a call. It's, it's. I don't. I don't get mad or pissed off over anything like that. I, I look at it as uh, somebody who cares and somebody who's you know interested in my well being. Sure. But you know, not everybody always knows the story behind the story and I don't go around whining going, Oh I cracked my ribs, you know. Man, it's bad. And um I'm still not right, man. Hey, I'll talk about it, you know, I'll I'll talk to Robbie about it and then maybe I'll post something because I, I didn't know anything about it. The other thing is I want I wanted to mention yeah. is most everybody like Robbie and this one and that one and everybody else, they're used to seeing me playing with the scorpions, which is a completely different animal. I mean, it's high energy. I'm smashing. I'm twirling sticks. I'm going nuts. I'm jumping up and down and all that. Kingdom Come is not that type of a band. I don't, I don't do that stuff with this band. I play drums and I sing. Like, I didn't even sing on Saturday. I sing on almost every song. Or, or when we played in, at Sweden Rock, I didn't even sing because I really couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And uh, uh, that's why bands cancel, like, when the singer's injured and stuff like that. Because once you got an injured singer or whatever, something like that, there's no turning around, turning back. You, you've got to cancel or you got to figure out something else, you know? Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.